Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch in sunny South Africa, in Pretoria to be specific. My name is Gustav Miller and this is Whiskey Tasting and Food Pairing Review number 161. And it is the second in this mini-series that I'm doing on 12-year-old blended whiskies. Today, Ballantine's 12-year-old Scottish blended whiskey. This brand was established in 1827. Ballantine's 12-year-old. It is owned by the Shivas Brothers, which is part of the Pernod Ricard group. And Ballantine, something interesting, one of the first brands to develop aged whiskies in the early 1900s. A blended 12-year-old whiskey from Scotland, bottled at 43% ABV, matured mainly in ex-bourbon casks. And the same as the Dewars that I did in the previous video, this blend contains more than 40 different malt and grain whiskies from Scotland. And um, one of the two of the very big components of this whiskey is, of course, single malt from Glenburgie and Milton Duff distilleries. This particular bottle has got a very nice tin gift tin, which is quite cool in the form of a, a safe that you can open up. But the open, opening happens from the top here. So very nice with a lot of information there on the back. Ballantine's 12 year old. So let me pour myself a dram. It's a screw cup and it also has a, a pourer. So let's see how this pourer works. There we go. Yeah, not bad. Makes things a little bit easier. Ballantine's 12 year old. I was quite surprised in the previous video with the Dewar's 12 year old blend. This is a serious dram that I poured here. I'm gonna have fun with this 12 year old blended scotch and the ice cream that I'm pairing this with. There we go, a deep golden color and maybe some legs forming there on the glass. From where I'm sitting, it's difficult to see. I can vaguely see them there. Good, on the nose. Much more grain on the nose than in the Dewar's that I did in the previous video. The Dewar's, I had much more malt on the nose, but here I'm getting the sweet grain. And then also the malt, but it, it feels for me personally on the nose as if the grain is more prominent vanilla and light honey it's a lighter nose than the the dewars was a bit more of a heavier deeper darker nose and i'm getting some citrus and oak spices custard and fruit salad that is sort of the picture that i'm getting as i nose this whiskey Let's find out what's going on on the palate. Mm. This is quite pleasant. Sweet honey. Sweet grain. Cream. The citrus and the vanilla from the nose on the palate as well. But the vanilla has sort of developed into toffee and fudge. The honey again, a little bit of a floral feeling that I'm get, and a bit of an oakiness to this Ballantine's 12 year old. Quite a soft, quite a soft flavor profile short finish slightly bitter and dry right at the end and um, yeah it's quite dry it's almost astringent in the very finish 
Let's see with a few drops of water if it opens up a bit more. Valentine's 12 year old blended Scotch whiskey. Here in South Africa, it is around 350 Rand. Here you can have a look at the water effect. In the UK, around 30 pounds and $35 in the US, from what I could find out. Water. The fruit salad is there again. Peaches and apricots. Maybe some green apple and then the custard. I'm stuck with that picture now. More light honey, more vanilla with the water added. Very nice blended scotch whiskey, a little bit softer and lighter for me personally than the Dewash. My summary for this would be creamy vanilla fudge, sweet grain and citrus. Those are the sort of key words that I would put in the summary for this whiskey. And as I said with the Dewash yesterday, I don't know. 350 Rand here in South Africa for another 100 Rand I can buy a very decent single malt. So I suppose for the blended whiskey fans that this would be a, a favorite pick. But I'm more of a single malt guy so I will probably go more for the single malts. Good, let's get to the pairing. I'm enjoying the ice cream pairings that I'm doing with this series of 12 year old blended whiskies. Going for this whiskey, I have chosen a fudge crumble flavored whiskey, uh, ice cream. So you can see it there. I even have a thingy here, I don't know what you call that, a wafer. And if you have a look, you can see the vanilla ice cream and then some fudge crumble in between. And I think this is gonna pair wonderfully. It's gonna connect to the vanilla, creamy, toffee, fudgy elements in the flavor profile of this particular blended whiskey. So here we go, you can see the fudge crumble right there. Mm. This is absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna use a bit of this wafer. Mm. As I experience this pairing nibble ice cream and I get the nose of this whiskey, I can already, and that's what I always enjoy about pairings, I can already feel that it's going to connect the aromas of the whiskey and the flavors of the ice cream. coming together. Hey, this is absolutely fantastic. The ice cream, the fudge component of the ice cream, the creaminess bringing out that fruit salad bowl that I was seeing and the vanilla custard, just bringing that out even, even more. This is delicious. Blended scotch with ice cream. Thank you for joining me on this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one The third in the series of five 12 year old blended whiskies and right at the end. I'm going to do a summary and In the summary, I'm going to reveal which one is my number one pick out of these five until the next video Slanger